Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Well, our uh, live uh, picture is from Buck Stadium. This is our mass cam out there where uh, Alan Harwell will have a report on tonight's football game uh, going on at Buck Stadium. You can see a gentle breeze and uh, crystal clear skies. A good night for football, but a very warm night and a humid one as our dew point temperatures are way up in the 70s. And that's where our low temperatures are going to stay here for the next week. And uh, certainly not good news as far as that goes. The uh, satellite depiction shows that we've got crystal clear skies across the region right now, as we just saw on our MassCam report. And with that, uh, we're not seeing any major weather systems in the area whatsoever. So we're not uh, seeing anything that's uh, affecting us too much, except the hot temperatures and uh, feeling more like August and September, just as uh, Lee and Stephanie mentioned earlier. Have this weak area, low pressure in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, but not a problem over there. And uh, then we have Jose, which has weakened into a tropical storm in the Atlantic. But there are two other systems that have formed beyond Jose uh, this afternoon. They are investigation systems, number one and number two. Number two looks like it's going to turn into Tropical Storm Lee by the end of this week. So either one of these systems could go over time, but it is this one further south that uh, looks like it'll be the next system. None of this is a threat here, though. We continue to have dry air and the water vapor imagery in brown. That's what's giving us the hazy but clear skies and that southwesterly flow aloft. That's going to go away, and this moisture off the Yucatan Peninsula and over here in the southern Gulf right here, that's going to sneak around the backside of this and come in on Sunday and bring us some rain. Not a lot of rain, as we talked about, but some rain. Here it is on the future tracker. Again, we've got mainly clear skies across the region overnight. Sunny but hazy skies again tomorrow, almost a carbon copy of today. Saturday morning clouds giving way to afternoon sun, so a little bit more cloud cover on Saturday, but still a lot of sun to go around. But on Sunday, Day. We're going to start to pick up at least isolated showers here Sunday afternoon as that tropical moisture off the Yucatan spreads into the region. Again, not all of us will get rain, but at least some of us will. The rainfall amounts on this uh, will vary uh, anywhere from uh, nothing up to about a half inch in some spots near the coast. The heavier rain in blue here will be offshore, so that is unfortunate. The winds, they're breezy right now. They do calm down overnight, but mainly out of the south. And so that leads us to temperatures in the 70s. Pretty good sea breeze again tomorrow afternoon and for Friday night football. And then light winds here on Saturday morning give way to a pretty healthy and moderate sea breeze in the afternoon. But notice the winds more easterly. That's the moist direction on Sunday. So that means that we'll see an increase in rainfall opportunity. Tonight, hazy and steamy, humid and warm, and 74 degrees. Tomorrow, expect to see a day very similar to today. Lots of sunshine, hazy, hot and humid, and 93 degrees. And your seven-day forecast has 94 here on Saturday. We're going to pick up uh, isolated to widely scattered showers Sunday into Monday and the high temperatures come down and then the winds pick up here Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday so no rain and temperatures uh, for lows in the upper 70s oppressively hot here the uh, middle